Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today, it's going to be Last versus Effort here on Circuit Breakers. In case you haven't seen this map before, this is a high level view. There we go. Got everything out of the way. It is a four player map, but this is going to be two players. And yeah, a lot of open space here, you guys. Tons of open space here on Circuit Breakers. Wide open ramps. Kind of feel like it is Zerg favored. Uh, because it is so darn wide open. But this is pretty easy to defend because there's a little, um, little narrow ramp leading down to it. And little narrow ramps leading into the expansions and blah, 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 blah. That is the high view. All right, so bottom right-hand corner, and I can't... There we go. My zoom wasn't working. I wonder if my mouse is wearing out. Maybe possibly, but bottom right, it's going to be Effort. He is brown, and he is Zerg, playing under May Shield right now. And in the top left-hand corner, it is Last, the Red Terran player, playing under Melvark. I don't know why, but it's Last here, who is widely considered one of the best Terran players on planet Earth today, if not possibly the best. At least he was the one who was featured in the StarCraft Brood War 20th Year Anniversary Show Match. It was last versus rain. He showed pretty darn well. Very excited to see what he can do here against who's considered one of the best Zerg players on planet Earth today. It's going to be Effort. I'm not entirely sure when this was played. I got this off of a replay pack off of Team Liquid, so I don't think it's too old. It's not like it's definitely from 2008 or anything, but we'll see. We'll see how this works out as far as if Effort is the player that we know him to be. And if last is also the player that we know him to be, or if these are younger versions. Either way, that's a pool first here. Pool first on a four-player map. Really gutsy stuff out of effort. What is this? Why would he go pool first here? Maybe defensively, but again, not on a map this big. feel like it'd be pretty safe to go for a hatch first play and be fine against whatever the Terran player wants to throw at you. He'd have to scout you first, and who knows he's able to do that, because he's not. Look, he's sending the SCV up to the wrong location, the same place the Overlord is scouting, but nobody spawned in the top right-hand corner at all, and once again, I forgot to turn this back on fog of war is back everybody it just looks so natural to me because when i cast starcraft 2 you can see everything there's fog of war but you can see the map features and it just seems like you brutal war fans are more into not seeing the map features at all until they're discovered by the players which is cool i'm hold down i'm hold down i'm mostly down here either way lings are already out the scv sees this and they are cruising across the map at this point trying to see what is going on nobody's scouted the bottom left right now so I don't know that anybody knows exactly where the other player is, at least as far as, well, obviously. Last knows where Effort is, but I'm not sure if the vice versa is true. That said, the Lings are cruising up. Ah, a drone scattered it. So we scouted the top left, knew where it was. There's a bunker under construction here. Is he going to finish in time and get two Marines inside? Yes. The bunker goes down in time. It was not a command center first player or anything stupid like that. Out of last. And look, blocking that ramp too a little bit. If the Lings want to go for the run by, they have to deal with the blocked hold position SCVs there. I think we're good. I think Last has responded to this perfectly. The Lings are going to be annoying, but that's a waste of larva at this stage. I mean, sure, they have map control, but there's really nothing that Last wanted to be doing at this stage of the game anyway. Just means the expansion is later for effort. It means his tech is later. It means his income is less than it otherwise could be here. Just a very standard one racks opening. One racks into Bunker, into Nexus, because of course... The bunker was thrown down in reaction to the early pool that was scouted by the SCV. So great job worker scouting both these players. Better job by last holding off exactly what Effort was trying to do. And now Effort with his 400 APM. Well, I mean, he's at 490 or so and last year's around 430 because, hey, it's the early game. What else are you going to do? Hmm. All right. So this I haven't seen except in more recent games are the earlier macro hatches. Ling's going to delay construction on this command center. Delay. Am I Australian or what? So they do delay it tiny, tiny bit. All of the Lings die except for one who does get out to tell everybody else what happened to his friends. Which is a rough job, man. If you have to tell your f everybody else what happened to your dead friends. Dude, Effort's at 500 APM. What is he possibly doing with all that APM? I don't know, but man, he's going to be playing fast here when all is said and done. Zergling chasing. This is actually a pretty jukey SCV. He's juking around. He's trying to see what's going on. He is scouting just fine. Sees the second gas coming up on the natural base. And did he see the lair timing? I think he might have. He's going to come back around anyway. And, uh, yeah, that's almost done. So he definitely saw the lair timing. Even can check and see if it got cancelled. And it's not cancelled. Sometimes Zerg players will cancel that. Right? Uh, just basically to throw off the Terran player who scouted. 
But there's your Spire. So we're open up two base Muta here. No question about it. That early gas on the second base definitely tells us the story. Which means at some point you're going to want missile turrets. Don't start them now. You don't need them right now. But this game is all about making what you want and what you need when you need it. And not a whole lot of time before. Because that's a lot of wasted resources and lost mining time. If last starts tossing up missile turrets now. These Zerglings, I don't know, man. That's a really good choke point for those Marines. Like I said, these are pretty well defendable by Terran. Not much wide open space there. But if you come out here, this is where it gets really scary. This is Zerg Town in this middle section of the map. Circuit. Breakers. All right, so just going for Stim, working on a commsat station for scans, for lurkers, and other such things. The spires take forever to build. Look how long this is taking to build. It's 600 HP to build all the way. Still no third base. These mutas have got to get stuff done, but I don't know if they can. Last got that scouted. He saw exactly what was coming. He saw the second gas. He saw the lair. He knows it's going to be two base muta. There's nothing else the Zerg player could be doing here. Otherwise, I guess maybe a quick Hydra push, but Hydra doesn't really stand up that well versus Lurk or Marines and Medics. Possibly a Lurker push, but again, we are well prepared for that one too. You spread out well, you stim, you focus down the Lurkers, everybody dies. But in this case, it is Mutalisks. So definitely five Mutas on the way here. We'll see if Last decides to top up, toss up some uh, Missile Turrets here at some point. I'm a little worried about him. There we go, man. The time to do it is when Falcon is worried about you, and then you start building them. He just got the time down to a science. Six minutes and 30 seconds. If I see the two base muta coming, no big deal. And yeah, the links come cruising in and say, hmm, two missile turrets coming up the natural base already. That seems problematic. And the Marines do catch the rest of these lings in a corner. And they all get cleaned out for pretty much nothing. Lings do get into the main base and pick off an SCV. Maybe gonna get a couple more here too. Are there any more turrets on the way here inside the main? Yeah, there's one there. As Marines keep uh, getting shot at, well, shot at, hacked away, uh, another one does go down. Any Marines that get killed here is going to be pretty good news, but here comes the Muta flock. And it is eight. That is eight Mutalisks flying in. The Marines are not in position to really help with this. This seems like a mistake. Where are you going, Marines and Medics? Are you base racing it? Look at him pulling back. He's like, ah, crap, giant... Giant Muta Ball. I guess there might be enough Mutas here and turrets here to make something happen. That one needs to finish pretty much now. Although the Mutas are pulling back, so never mind. You have some time to complete that after all. No big deal. Last year, good to go. Yeah, and this is the game we see played quite a bit. Is Can you kill Marines without losing too many Mutalisks? As there are now 10 Mutas in the flock, which is a pretty good number. Lurker Aspect being researched. Any sign of a third effort is kind of setting up for a third in the bottom left, but he hasn't started one yet. He's really microing to his heart's content here at the natural. Three missile turrets, though. Yeah, man. Are we... Uh, we lost a Muta there. And another Muta goes down. Another Muta goes down. I just don't know about these guys. I don't know if this is really worth it. He is picking off some delicious, juicy SCVs here inside the main base, causing quite a bit of harassment and delaying construction on a Supply Depot, too. Which is pretty darn fantastic. Meanwhile, the Marines are heading down to the south. I love what Last is doing. He's like, I have enough to defend against these Mutas. I've got the turrets. I've got the Marines. I'm going to lose some stuff. But I will also delay the third base forever. Oh, and delaying in the top right too. Man, if efforts. Tried to expand top right. Done. Tried to expand bottom left. Done. Where? Look at this hiding. Look at this hiding drone. He's like, where? Where are... Th ah, crap. I got found out. Oh, this is so bad. I don't know how effort comes back from this. I really don't. I mean, sure... He did quite a bit of damage early on versus those SCVs. Kind of slowed down the SCV count a little bit on last there. Forced out some turrets. Which, I don't know, those are resources. Those are resources that could be SCVs or could be bases otherwise. But, man, at this stage of the game, it's two base to two base. 77 to 59 supply. The Muta count, I don't know if it's enough to really frighten last all that much. There's only five of them. And a lot of them are pretty injured. That said, they're threatening. They're threatening, and they're kind of keeping Last inside his natural base right now. He needs a third. If Last is going to win this game, if he takes a third before oh, before effort does, it'd be huge. But he does manage to take down the top right base, thanks to help from some Mutalisks. Going to clear that area out. Mutaflock getting a little bigger. We are still making these a little bit. It's Lurkers mostly, but we're back up to eight Mutas now. The Marines are sitting on plus one attack. They have Stim, which is such a great upgrade. Uh, just that extra damage output versus air units. Really tears through mutalisks like they are made of the tissue paper. Or toilet paper or Kleenex or... I don't know. There's a lot of options here. A lot of options here. 
All right, so third base is coming up late. That was late for effort. Did he get the damage done he needed? He's got a lot of sunkens protecting his natural, but there's no need for them. I don't see last marching across the map to do anything about this. Kind of like these are wasted drones and resources too. I love the map vision that effort has. Look at how much brown there is on the map. There are really not many places, right? Not many places that last can go without effort seeing and scouting exactly where that is. Okay, third base going to pop here any second. These drones don't know that, so they're going to walk all the way back home to return their minerals. We'll see if they come back with Effort's Micro in a second here or not. And they do, of course they do. Effort's a good player. He knows what's up. Marine Ball with Medic Support heading on down the right side here. Ooh, Nidus on the way. Greater Spire. Holy smokes. This is a very, 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 very fast three base Greater Spire out of Effort. This game... Is getting interesting already. A couple mutas die just unnecessarily flying over a group of marines that are just angry and ready to kill anything that is in the sky here. Irradiate, almost done for the Terran player. Getting those science vessels, which are so important in TVZ these days. And really have been since the beginning of time. So the marines have made it over to the natural base. So the defenses were necessary at some point. But again, you don't want to make those until you absolutely have to. That said, did you have enough time to make enough sunken to deal with this? This is a pretty scary army out of last... Man, there are lurkers present. There are tanks coming in, though. I assume there's a science vessel in the mix somewhere, or at least on the way, maybe. Does he not have any science vessels yet? That'd be nice if he did. But man, not even going after the third. I kind of feel like going after the third would be the thing to do here. Sure, there's Nidus's, but there are not this many Sunkens at the third base. Just walking into a minefield of Sunken Crawler Spines. Sunken Crawler, whatever those are, and Lurker Spines. The tanks are set up. Now the Marines need to pull back and defend against the Lings that are going to cruise on in. Killing a free Overlord, maybe to try to supply block here. Over there we go. There is the detection available on that Science Vessel. Almost kind of baiting Scourge to come in here. What is in production to deal with this? Six Guardians in production. 12-minute Guardians from effort. I kind of really, really like this. Tanks setting up again. Marines attacking. Ah, oh, here come the Guardians. Oh, there's nothing to deal with if the tanks are gone. The Marines can't handle it. And surprise, Guardians. Holy crap. What an amazing, amazing response there. Everybody dies. The natural base survives. The rest of the Terran army flees in terror. As they have no answer to this, Wraith production has begun to deal with it. Valkyrie's not bad either. If you want to make some Valkyries in response to these Guardians. We don't see Guardians a lot in TBZ. Just because they're pretty flimsy to things like Irradiate and, as I said, Valkyries and Wraiths. So, we'll see. Even if there are enough Marines and they're, I don't know, they're coming at different directions and you can kind of make it work here. But these guys are fleeing from the Guardians that are slow, right? They are slow, but they make up for it by hitting like trucks and shooting from forever and being flying. That is the trade-off here. Or do you hit like a truck and are you in the sky? And you have incredible range. You're also going to be slow. That's the fair trade-off here. But Cloak? Right? He got Cloak already? All right. So the Guardians are dead. There is no support for these guys whatsoever, which is kind of insane. Where is the support? You're going to let these guys all die? This is so much investment. You have to make Mutalisks first and then morph them into Guardians. Once you have a Greater Spire, this is a lot of gas that is getting absolutely thrown away. But Effort did drag the army away, kept his natural base alive. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I don't, I mean, I guess they're just scouting Guardians now. Is there a third base up? Not here. Oh my gosh, the Guardians. Well, I got five kills before we got absolutely wasted by those wraiths. So third base dumb, but it's only a mineral expansion here for last. Uh, trying to set up. Nope, that's not going to happen. Trying to set up here. Lurkers and Dark Swarm are pretty good against tanks as it turns out. And everybody flees from the Dark Swarm that Effort already is running with. So third base, fine. Fourth base, fine. Defilers are protecting those dudes. Spider Mines in production. Adrenal Glands. We're getting, is that uh, speed? Yep, faster Overlord movement coming in. Oh, Free Scourge. Flying over those Marines. That is just a free gift. Free gift, which I've been told for a long time is just, um, it's redundant to call it a free gift. Because, duh, look at him picking off. This is, man... This is honestly kind of uh, a Flash-esque right now, the way he's using these wraiths. We saw him use it in a game versus Flash recently on the channel. And these guys put in some serious work. Look at this harassment. Ah, Dark Swarm used it defensively against wraith harassment. That is not something I've seen, I don't think, ever on the channel. Man, Scourge are getting picked off. Overlord's getting picked off because they're detection. 
I'm going to make sure that they get out there for sure. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, that was enough scourge and enough detection to wipe those guys out. Wraiths, may you rest in peace. Last is thrown up a fourth base along the left side. is a very nice place. A lot of minerals. A lot of gas to be taken here, too. And now suddenly map control looks like it belongs to the Terran player. Last is switching up into mech here at about 15 minutes. He is working on a bunch of factories in production. He's floating his barracks on out. The transition is real. And this is where things can get scary. Really scary for the Zerg player. You see a ton of tanks. Your ground army is not going to do a whole lot. Your ultras are going to struggle. Your hiders are going to struggle. Your lurkers are going to to struggle and I don't know that we've seen a Zerg player come back from a late game Terran who has a ton of tanks out we've seen them try Queens it doesn't work we've seen them try Dark Swarm and Lings and Hydras and Lurkers it doesn't work or it hasn't worked in the past we haven't cast every single late game ZVT where there's a ton of mech involved but definitely there are more than one examples of this and oh, it's chitinous plating it's gonna try ultras we're gonna attempt Ultralisks here, but uh, I mean we're working on vehicle weapons. We're getting Caron boosters Last is just starting to pump out tanks like a crazy person and it's going to get very very hard for ultras to do anything here Very very soon and he's so content just to let effort have these four bases It's like you get four bases. I'll take another base in the bottom left for a fifth. How's that sound? I'm gonna out macro you and then I'm going to hold map control. Your lings can't get anywhere because there are a million vultures cruising around here with plus one attack. And soon to have plus one armor, which makes them even better. And yeah, I mean, it's just uh, it's such a passive effort right now. Effort is just hanging out. Hanging out. Uh, he's working on, okay, 50, plus 50 defiler energy, which is okay. But yeah, these lings, like I said, they're going to come out and do some scouting, but otherwise just die. I don't think they're going to kill anything Terran. Maybe clear out some spider mines, which, all right. That's a fair trade. It's a free unit for a mineral unit, if you're last. Lings cruising on down. Okay, they're actually getting out <laughs> about here for scouting purposes. So they check this base. Nope, nothing here. That's weird. How about this bottom left base? Well, there is if you actually want to get in here and take a look, but you don't. You're just checking this base. Scourge catching a dropship. Oh, evaporating that one before I could even see what was in it. That was a nice Scourge hit. That is impressive to get Scourge out when there's so much red on the map right now. Overlords, they've got speed. They're running away. Do they have upgrades? Nah, who needs upgrades for Overlords at all? Man, it's six Ultras. Six Ultras, two Lurkers. We're going to have Dark Swarm. Let's see how effort does that. Let's see how one of the best Zerg players on planet Earth deals with a Mecking Terran. Or if he can. Again, last... Pretty great player. I don't know if we can assume Effort's going to win this game. For any reason, honestly. I just don't know. I, I haven't watched this in advance because I never do. And you're like, yeah, Falcon, we know. You miss drops sometimes. In fact, <laughs> I do miss drops. Which um, I'm trying to do better on. I appreciate the feedback letting me know that I was doing better for a while. Kind of, um, kind of falling apart recently. So I'm trying to do much better in this game catching the brown. But man, brown... It is hard to see on this map. Brown is a hard color. Red, much, much easier to see. Which is why we're kind of keeping an eye on the red much easier than the brown here. But the Filer wanders into its death. I don't know. I'm sure what that was all about. Were you trying to throw down a Dark Swarm or what? Because you're gone now. And it is a 199 supply Terran to a 130 supply Zerg. It is an abysmal position that Effort finds himself in. He's down in bases. He's, gonna, he's trying to take a fifth, but it's not going to happen. That's a canceled base or just a lost one, perhaps. I think that was just a lost base. Effort! No, what is going on here? What was that irradiate? I heard an irradiate. Ah, yes. Irradiate on the ultras, irradiate on the defilers. Yeah, I just don't think that there's enough here. Is that another command center? Jeez, going for six bases now. Last is really, really playing hard on the macro side of things right now, you guys. And Overlord gets taken down. I think a bunch of Scourge just flew into a barrack, so it's on fire. And it is burning, which is a minor victory here for effort. But he is in so much trouble. This is incredibly patient style, too. Hey, some Ultras wandered over to the fifth base. What? How did these guys get over here? Did they get dropped? They walk? They apparated, is what happened. They are magicians. All right, so they wiped out a base. That is something Effort needed to do to stay in this game, is wipe out a base, 
force a ton of SCVs to flee. Get these Ultras in behind enemy lines. And then suddenly there aren't any tanks back here to deal with them. Ling's cruising around, trying to find a way to wrap around and get stuff done. This is the path. This is the golden path that the Zerg units are finding to get back into this game. This is insane right now. All right, so there are some tanks defending this bottom left-hand corner base. So that's real, real nice. But this fifth base is gone. Seventh base already done for last at the 12 o'clock position right now. So again, four basing Zerg. He needs to really wipe out some bases and take some of his own. If at all he can, Zerglings getting that wrap around. They've got adrenal glands. They are not joking around here. They got two two and adrenal glands. They are full on cracklings, and everybody dies. But it's still 193 to 126 supply. Scourge cruising around, are trying to find stuff to kill. Oh, are they trying to wipe out this command center? Is that even a good use of Scourge? No, but this would be. Jeez, that's a lot of dead science vessels. He was trying to get him out of there. He tried to throw down defensive matrix on one of them to keep him alive, but it didn't happen. Still maxed out to 102 supply. My goodness, effort. I don't... I just... I don't... Blah, blah, blah. This is not looking good. See how these tanks are problematic? See how they have plus two attack, and soon they're going to have plus three attack, and they have incredible amounts of range, and Last has reestablished the bases that he needs at this stage. That left side fifth base is done. The top side 12 o'clock base is also done, and sure, Effort managed to kind of squeeze in his own fifth base on the right side, but... I'm seeing red heading over this way, and that just never, uh, never ever bodes well for a base that's under construction. When there's a ton of enemy forces heading over that direction to cause it major problems. Five more Ultras on the way here. I just don't... Zergling's cruising in. Ultras here too. Are there any Dark Swarm? No? Alright. I mean, sure. A couple tanks go down, but a lot of Ultras are going down here too. And the resources lost are just climbing... Climbing in favor of last in this game. I don't think ultras are ever the answer here. Sure, it's got great upgrades. Sure, he's working on even better upgrades. Sure, lings are cruising on in. And sure, there aren't many tanks here. And yes, we're going to break this. Just barely, maybe. A little bit, I guess, is if I had to characterize it. It'd just be a little bit of breakage. Ah, Lurker does show up over here on the left side <laughs> to harm last base at the 9 o'clock position. Which has really been the one been, that's been under assault for the most part here for last this entire game. Ultras on top of tanks and Goliaths. Goliaths don't really do much in this situation, especially Vultures either, but the tanks are doing just fine against them. And this guy going to get wiped out with his four kills like all of his other Ultralisk brethren. So last has been up just consistently for the last five or six minutes by huge amounts of supply. Sneaking drones in. Are you kidding? He snuck drones in here. Or sneaked drones in here? I don't know. The English is a little bit confused on that. Uh, the Vulture's going to wreck that, unfortunately. Lings need to roll in and save the day. If at all they can, but look at all these drones that are dying. That said, look at the tanks that are going down here, too. No, he's doing this without Dark Swarm, you guys. He's just absolutely cruising in here with Vultures and Lings. No Dark Swarm whatsoever. This Vulture attack was brutal. The drones snuck in, but the Vulture snuck in faster. And that's it. That's it for the drones. These vultures are still alive. Happily, happily hanging out. <sighs> that is so high. I can't hit that. I tried and I failed. Hey, look, some SCV is going down in revenge. All right. I just don't know that it matters is all I'm trying to say here. Okay, so last took a hatch. Well, this is in trouble too, though. That's in trouble. Lings and Ultras are cruising around the right side. They keep kind of winning battles, but last has so much production. I'm not convinced that it actually matters that these battles are kind of being won by the Zerg player. 93 to 190 supply. I mean, is this just a slow bleed out? Have I ever cast a game where the last like 15 minutes are just kind of slow bleed out from one of the players that's losing the whole time? Because it kind of seems like that's where we are. Last needs to do something drastic to get back in this game. He needs to wipe out a base. He needs to successfully expand like three times. He needs to take control of the middle of the map. That'd be pretty fantastic. But I just don't see it. I just don't see it happening. Sure, they're fully upgraded ultras, but they're no match for tanks. A lesson I have seen many times on this channel and back when I used to play Brute War against my friends when I was younger too is maxed out ultralisk no match for maxed out siege tank even with equal upgrades 
yeah, I mean, there's just nowhere to go. Are these dropper, are these dropper overlords? No, not really. <laughs> Cannot believe this match. Somehow, through all of this, Last has not taken down this right side base of Efforts. Effort has managed to get it down. He's harvesting gas. Is successfully getting minerals out of this thing, too. This base is always in trouble by Lings along the left side at that 9 o'clock position. 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock seem to be the places where most of these battles are happening. Dark Swarm is up, but there's really... There we go. Ultras are getting in. Lings there, too, but suddenly you're outside of the Dark Swarm and you're taking shots from everything. And Lings are cruising in here and wiping out quite a few tanks. Lings are trying to do stuff up here at this mineral-only expansion that belongs to last... Does get cleaned out by some marines. A couple of SCBs get dying or die in the process, though. 169 to 109 supply. See? It's just like I feel like there's a great engagement, right? There's a fantastic engagement here. And sure, it is. It is good. He does have a bit of a supply. The supply lead has shrunk in the meantime, but it's just not enough. I really, really wish there was a units lost tab in this game where I could see how many ultras have died in this game because I feel like it's about 50 already. I mean, there is a world in which effort can just make a whole ton of incredible trades for the next 10 minutes and come out on top. It'd actually be kind of amazing if he could. Is this thing still shut down? There's still a lurker here. These ultras get on top of some tanks. All right, these tanks are undefended. See what I'm talking about? This is this is this is all that I'm talking about here is Ultra's doing some good stuff when they have numbers, when they have Dark Swarm protecting them. 129 to 179 supply. See, last lead is shrinking. It's definitely shrinking right now. And the ultras are checking. Thank the Lord there's not a base down here for last. I don't know what I would do if there was a base down here. And honestly, there should be. Last should have expanded here. He has had Enough opportunity to do so as the Lurker at the 9 o'clock base gets picked out of the ground by tanks and a supporting science vessel. I don't know what these overlords are. I guess they're scouting. They're just trying to see exactly where the Terran player is set up. Once again, Ling's trying to get on top of tanks here. It's just not... The Ling's die so fast. Meanwhile, Ling run by into this mineral-only expansion again. Are you kidding? How is he doing this? Also, how did that Zergling get killed? Oh, I guess these tanks down here. So the response was fine. Couple SCVs dying. Ultras, they have got to be teleporting. I don't know how they end up over here consistently. This base, I feel like has not been mined hardly at all, but that's it. That's your good game. Effort is tapped out. <laughs> and last... Is your winner. All right, real, real, real quick. I gotta see what, I mean, obviously he knew he was in just a large amount of trouble. But let's check it out. See the exact situation here. What did it, man? Why the tap out here in about 40 seconds? Kinda goes for the drop. I mean, he's down 60 supply. He can't wipe that base out. He comes in for the scout there. These lings can't do anything. These guys do manage to sneak up here on the top left to get some stuff done. A little bit, but then there are more and more tanks coming out of the main base. No problem. Ultralisks run in here to try to wipe that, that base out. These guys cruise on in. The tanks are setting up. Is it that what it is? That they're setting up in siege of this fifth base, and that is basically the only... Not the only source of income, but it's a really important source of income for effort here, and he needs to keep it alive. Yeah, I don't know why these lings are running up here. I don't understand what they're trying to do. There are Nidus Canals, if you want to go ahead and head up here to defend that base, but 175 to 98 supply. I mean, that's, that's the whole thing. And in production, we just have five tanks at a time. Three Goliaths at a time, a Vulture coming in, working on plus three armor for your vehicles. A little bit late, but better late than never, I guess. And yeah, there's no answer. And again, I just don't know what the answer is here for Zerg in the late game versus Mass Siege Tank and Goliath. I don't know. We've seen Queens tried. We've seen Dark Swarm tried. We've seen Hydra Dark Swarm tried. We've seen Ultra Ling tried. 
hasn't worked out. And I mean, we've seen Larva do it. Larva has done it just by basically macroing like a crazy person. So maybe you don't go for the two-base Muta, right? Maybe you don't go for the early two-base attack against your Terran opponent. Maybe you just take four quick bases, five quick bases, defend them just as much as you can, just on the edge of your seat, right? Just barely by the seat of your pants staying alive. And then you have five bases to three of the Terran player, and then you can afford to throw units away like this and kind of keep their tank down, tank out down, and just keep fighting and fighting and fighting. So, I don't know, that's a way to do it. Maybe dropping stuff on top of your enemy too, not a bad idea. Again, the dark. Uh, the drop lords would have been fine, but missile turrets are here. Goliaths were around, I'm not sure where they went. Maybe they all died. Seems possible. I don't know, man, this final score is gonna be brutal for the Zerg here. 225,000 for last, 212,000 for effort. 769 units produced and lost 619 of them. Last killed exactly 600 Zerg units and resources. Way more gas mines somehow. Surprisingly, I don't know if that's surprising for effort because he did have that right side base, those bases. And the 9 o'clock base was never really taken for gas for last, and that one of his bases was minerals only. So that makes sense. And spending about the same. So as a mech player, if you spend about the same... Yeah, I just don't know. I just don't know uh, how you're going to do that thing against a mech Terran player, because they're so cost efficient. Alright, cool. Well, that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin, coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. But go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.